What's up guys, welcome to your 14th Android app development tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous tutorial and I'm going to discuss about the method 1 codes of button on click listener. Now let's open our Eclipse. Now inside our Eclipse let us create a new project, right? Name your project, method 1, right? Package name, whatever, right? No props. Next, 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 navigation type null finish from the next tutorial itself I'm not going to show you how to create a new project I will just jump to the main activity or activity underscore main dot XML to, to write the codes of new application now here again copy the codes of fragment main and paste it inside the activity main replace the codes why I am doing this I have just taught you in the hello world tutorials I'm doing this because we don't need this fragment main dot XML as, as of now this is a higher level concept, right? Open your main activity, right? Delete all these stuffs. We don't need it. Again, guys, fragment is the higher level concept, so that's why I delete all its content. And now we are good to go with our main activity.java and activity main.xml, right? Now, come to this graphical layout. Here you will see what a hello world return here just click on it and hit delete right now just drag and drop a button here right you will get a button here now just double click on it you will get the codes of the button out here you can also migrate to its codes by clicking on the tab right now this id guys as i told you in the previous tutorial this has to be unique so this is our button one id is button one you can change the id also Mostly it is recommended to change the ID. Suppose this button performs the action saving a file. So just type b.save or this is a test button. So I've just written the b test, right? Wrap content, hide wrap content, align, parent, left and top. Just leave it as it is. Change the text, click me, right? Now we are pretty done with the XML layout, right? We are having a button saying the click me, right? Now just save this XML file. Now go to main activity or Java. Now here what you are gonna do is to first initialize your button variable. Button space but. But it's quite offensive. Now here it is showing some error. Let's hover over it. It is showing six quick fixes available. Now first one you have to import the button package. So just click on it. You have imported actually this android widget dot button like this. All these yellow underline statements is actually not required because we have deleted all these things. So just remove the unused import. Now we are left with the three imports, right? One for action bar activity, one for this bundle that we are having here. Now one for this button, right? Now let's complete our initialization. Let's say find view by ID. You don't have to type the whole codes guys. Just hit control plus space. After that you will get the option starting with fin that can be typed here. Now our destiny is this find view by id just double click on it. Now here it requires an integer. So we have to access this button but by using an id. So we just have to write r dot id dot b test right. Now this is our b test just enter it right now here again it is showing some error let's check it out now we have to add a cast to this find view by id because this is actually belongs to view group or view class so but this actually belongs to class button so here we have to cast type it right like this now we are good to go we have initialized our button now this button I have defined it globally. You very well know guys why I am doing this because I have to make it accessible inside the various methods of the main activity. Now let us implement our on click listener. Just type I am then hit control space right on click right hit control space again. Now you will get the whole lot of stuffs starting from onc on cancel listener on check change listener whatever our destiny is this on click listener right now there are two on click listener this belongs to our dialog class that we will discuss in the further tutorials now as of now we have to consider this android.view.view so just double click on this right 
Now again, this is an interface. So an interface contains the methods that you have to compulsorily override in your main activity. So this is showing error just because you have not overrided the methods of the on click listener. Now to fix this error, just hover over it. Right now the first one is add unimplemented method. Now just click on it. It will auto generate a method known as on click inside your main activity, right? Inside our on click, we have to perform some action. Now let's write log dot D right here. You will see the log function, right? Let's see the tag shrieks message button was clicked, right? Let's save it and execute it. Right click run configuration. All these stuffs I have taught you guys. I'm just repeating it again. Next time I won't repeat it. Browse it. Target, right? Apply. Now select your emulator, right? My emulator was already running. Click OK. Here we go. Our app is running with our button visible on the screen. Now we have mentioned a log statement in our on click method. Now let's check if that works. Let's use our shakes filter, right? Just hit on click me, click me, click me. Nothing happens because this is because we have implemented the on click listener, but we have not linked this on click listener with our button. So we have to link our on click listener with our button. What is the syntax? Just write button variable, but right set on click listener, right? Just double click on it. Now inside as a parameter, you have to write the context to which context this on click listener belongs to. Now this on click listener belongs to what in this main activity. So we have to pass the context of this main activity by writing main activity dot this or simply or simply by writing this, right? You can also write here main activity dot this. Now run your application again, right? The second time. Yeah, my application is running. Now let's click on click me, right? It is showing Shrek's button was clicked again. Again, it was clicked again. It was clicked. Let's try it again. Shrek's button was clicked, 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 clicked like this. Now, whenever you are going to click the button, click me in that case, this function is going to be executed. So that is why this statement is always executed when the button was clicked. So it is printing the shrieks and button was clicked inside our lock cat. Now guys lock cat I have discussed earlier. Please go back and watch out my tutorials about lock cat. Now let us open our main XML right now drag and drop another button, right? There's a relative layout. So anywhere you can place it, double click on it, right? Just name it as second button, right? Now go to your main activity. Now, just initialize your second button, right? Just type but two button B test, right? It is showing button one, right? No prop. Now let us link the button two with the on click listener. Copy it, paste it, right? But two dot set on click listener main activity dot this, right? Now let's save it and execute it. Now, when we click the first button, it is showing button was clicked. Now, the, when we hit the second button, again, it is showing the button was clicked. Now guys, how to differentiate between the two buttons that I will discuss in the next tutorial. So catch you guys in next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below my video. This is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off.